For, before I ask these questions, what is your name? Alexia Isako. All right. How long have you been a teacher at Oakdale High School? Uh, since it opened. I was going to say, at Oakdale, I've been here since it opened. And what is that, 15, 16 years now? So, 20, uh, 2009? 2010. 2010, yeah. okay, yeah. so 14 years, will be 15 years. Yeah. Um, what inspired you to become a teacher? I tell this story every year to my seniors. I always wanted to be a teacher. When I was two, my parents, I played school instead of, and they set up a school room in our basement. Instead of like work or like house. Or like house, kid, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like instead of like having a kitchen set up, mm. I had a school room set up, <laughs> so. All right. What aspects of teaching did you enjoy throughout your years? I enjoy meeting new people every single year. Okay. I enjoy getting to know you guys as kids. Uh, did you have any previous teaching experience before coming to Oakdale? Like, did you ever, were you at a school before you came to Oakdale? I taught at TJ Middle for two years. Okay. And I taught at Long Reach High in Howard County for 10 years. All right. And so, uh, when did you, when did, when did your teaching career start? Right out of college. All right. Um, if you weren't a teacher, what other careers would you be interested in? Probably journalism. Okay. Right, something along those lines. Yeah. So be, since you were the journalism teacher, so were you the journalism teacher right out, like once Oakdale was built, were you the journalism teacher? No, right? I did not start the program. Okay. Yet. What Do you know what year it started, though? It started right when it opened, okay. yes. Do you know who the teacher was before It's that? actually our new library specialist, Ms. Mills. Okay. She started here as an English teacher with us, and she was the journalism teacher then, right. and then got her... MLS to become a librarian. Right. I did not know that. How do you feel when you found out you weren't going to be teaching journalism anymore? So after, after last year, we heard that a lot of English teachers were being what let go or accessed. Ex yep. So mm -hmm. you found out that you had to teach uh, English full time. How did it feel that you wouldn't be teaching journalism anymore? To be honest, I had been saying to my department that I wanted to turn it over before I left, and I know I, I knew I was leaving within the next five years. Okay. Does it suck though? Not it does. It does. It hurts. It's sad, but I hope that Mr. Corpora takes it into a new direction. I think it's a going. I think journalism too was already heading in a new direction right. that I was not completely on board with because of age and experience and knowledge I just wasn't a, I wasn't prepared for. Mm -hmm. But so you have definitely ex like the Oakdale Post wouldn't be what it is without you. So all that you've done for journalism is, has been amazing, but do you think Corpora can take it even farther? I think he could. If yeah. Especially with all of uh, the broadcasting that he could do so oh, like yeah. especially oh, helping definitely kids that want to go into sports broadcasting or news reporting. Exactly. So, yeah. mm -hmm. Are there any moments throughout your teaching career that stuck out to you, especially during like uh, teaching journalism? I, at Long Reach High School, when I was teaching there in Howard County, I was the yearbook advisor there. Okay. And I really enjoyed what the difference is between like yearbook and journalism from a regular English class is the idea of getting to know the students in a, in a completely different way. Right. You know, in a completely different way. And I really enjoyed those classes and the feel of those classes. And my philosophy on education has always been, you know, to let the student kind of drive their own curiosity and their own passions. And those two classes just really, and I really drove those, those children. And I am still friends, and I say friends, with a lot of my former students now yeah. who have um, gone out into the real world, you know, from Long Reach and from when I first took over 10 years ago, the journalism program. Yeah. And uh, do you think for Corpora, should we bring in Oakdale um, people that have done journalism? Like, I, rem I remember last year you brought in Rianne. Uh, Nick could have came in at a time. Do you think we should do that as well? 
Oh yeah, definitely try to use the resources at, at your disposal. Even if he doesn't know former Oakdale students who do that, if he knows anybody who's out there doing any sort of kind of marketing like you mm. talked about or um, social media or anything like that, if he knows anybody doing any of that kind of stuff, I think it would be helpful for you guys to kind of see the real world implications of this class. Right. Right. Well, that's all the questions we have. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right.